Okay, so in this video, we're going to show a trick about a multi-state indicator that you can do um, to actually see a little bit better uh, indication of what you're, you know, what's going on. And that's using this property panel over here. But first, let's make one, right? So first, let's get the layout. Uh, we want to, let's just have like a, a small inset. All right, so we'll get that, put that in there, and let's change the state colors. Uh, the first one, uh, you can have gray. It's perfectly fine. The next one, let's have, uh, let's just say yellow. Uh, and the next one, let's have, uh, we'll have green. Okay, so we'll have green. And then the next one, we'll have, we'll have that one red for like a stop. So then we'll first say, we'll say, uh, this one will be not running. All right, this one we're going to have as running are actually this one, the yellow one will be starting. All right, the next one will be running. And then the last one will be faulted. All right. So we'll have these words in here. So, and to, just to show that we'll hit accept right quick. We'll bold that so that you can see each one of these. Uh, we'll bold each one of these to show you how that works. And this one, let's change the color to black and get that so you can see it. And let's change this one, let's see, to bold. Let's see how that, that looks good. White running and the red one. Let's go ahead and get that bold as well faulted okay so changing this is the cool thing behind this if you wanted to actually now keep in mind the the value of this that state doesn't necessarily have to be the value the actual state number it could be anything it could be like 10 uh, in that instance but we're going to keep it one um, and we'll keep this two and keep this three and we'll keep it very 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 simple now i'm not going to add a tag here because uh, this is going to be showing you how to use this in the property panel so i'm going to click on this right quick and i'm going to come to, over here to my property panel you'll see that then i'm going to come all the way down to states right here and then i'm going to simply just change the state right here and that way i can test my system i can easily test my system and see what it would look like right so if i'm trying to design something if i'm trying to go through and design something see what it looks like before i even add tags or before i even do anything i can just go to the property panel right here make sure everything is working um the values and everything like that again very simple you can just click it right here and it'll just run through the whole scenario so i wanted to show you that quick little tip because it's very helpful when designing something especially a multi-state indicator um, when it comes down to it and just keep in mind when you're doing a multi-state indicator uh, another little quick tip too is the states do not have to equal um the, so the state that you're currently in like if i wanted to be in this very top one and it's zero um that's per perfectly fine one if i want if this was equal to uh again 100 uh if value of 100 right so whatever the tag i put in here if it's equal to 100 then that's when that state would pop up um in that case though we're going to keep it at one i just want you to know that that value does not have to correspond with the state number uh it just needs to have the value it needs to equal the value of the tag that you put in here it needs to equal the value of what you put in that state type okay just keep that in mind um with a multi-state indicator um uh, and again very quick uh, easy tip to do um and if you're coming in and you're you're just happen to be on the object panel just go to your property panel and just go all the way down to where it says whatever your state is, uh, especially on a multi-state indicator and just change whatever you want to, just like that. So very quick tip, very helpful uh, when designing and hopefully that was very uh, helpful in, in you know designing something in Factory Talk View Site Edition. And, and again, when it comes down to it, um, the goal here is to, to help you progress and, and um, you know, keep moving forward with your, your learning and keep growing. So hopefully that did, and we'll see you guys on the next one.